he or Iyad is whether it's him, her, or them who are getting taken off their feet. I mean, I guess technically I could be taken off someone else's feet, but it wouldn't make sense in English anymore than it would have been in Irish, okay? So, Togudah <laughs> Chosa Okay? Could you say you took someone else off their feet and then you tackled them? Yeah, the important thing with Togu, the word Togu, you couldn't really do that because Togu oh. says someone did something to someone, but you don't say who did it, okay? Togu, it's, it's like the passive in English. But it's a little bit more general in Irish, okay? It's what's called the free verb. Servriher. Okay? And it ends in ADH, and the ADH is pronounced U. Okay? And that's the one we've talked about a couple of times. Rogume, I was born. Literally meaning someone, someone caught me. <laughs> okay? Togume, I was raised. So tog is, means, tog means to take, but it also means to raise or to build. So you build a, make a building that's, tog is used to build the building. Okay? Eight, I don't think we need to go through. <laughs> okay? <laughs> Whoever gets to read it will be fine. You can put your own interpretation on it. How can we translate it to raise stuff like you? Huh? How can we translate it to raise stuff like you? Um, you want to, tog isn't used, it's used to make a building or to raise a person, meaning to yeah. take care of them until they grow up. It's not meaning to lift someone. Oh. Yeah. Okay? <laughs> Yes, I can. In English, I'm sure if you thought about it, there's plenty of words in English that have lots of different meanings, <laughs> depending on what words go with it and all that. So Irish and English are alike in that way, and, you know. But you have uh, things like continue on, having, you know, why is it on, why not? <laughs> and why is it, you know, run off and not run on? <laughs> okay. Or run on means something different, right? <laughs> okay. Run into means something different than run on and run off. <laughs> okay. So if, if you ever find Irish difficult, yeah, realize that you do it already in English. So it's just learning the Irish forms. Okay. Number nine. Number nine. Hui chasan er agus hit niel er hoin er talav. Okay. So hui is went. Chas here is a case like a briefcase. A chas is his briefcase. Sun air in the air. Okay, sun air. Agus and hit Neil. Neil fell. Okay, erahoin on his <laughs> backside. Okay, erahoin. That's a word that everyone should know if it has pog in front of it, right? <laughs> okay. So, Aaron Talav on the ground. Talav is ground. Okay. Um, so let, let's do a little exercise here. Um, let's say Neil is telling us this story and he wants to say what happened to him. What would we change here? So how, he wants to say my my case went up in the air and I fell on my bottom on the ground. Hui. So hui. Ma, ma, chas, sun air, and I fell. I guess hit me. Air mahon. Air mahon. Okay, so hui ma chas an air, I guess hit me, er ma hoin er an talav. Okay? Now, I'm gonna do one more and uh, let's talk about, let me change colors here. Let's say uh, Myra is telling this story. No, Myra here today. Okay, Myra is telling the story. Uh, actually, we're telling the story about Myra. Myra's telling the story would be all the same, but now we're gonna say what happened to Myra. Um, Yes, yeah, so I can say Kad Kaharla Dwaira. What happened to Mary? And you want to tell me what happened to her? So, how about her case went up in the air? Hui Akas. Okay, so that changes. Akas, her case, Sanair, and she fell. I guess hit she. On her bottom. Er a poem. Er a poem. Er a poem. 
her column. Okay? Okay? So a cos is her case. And, and you don't, if it was a cos, it would be his case. Okay? So a cos is her case. Hit she, she fell. Er a point is her bottom. A point would be his. Okay? What would be his? A coin? A coin. And the way I pronounce hers? A coin. Oh, a coin. Okay. Useful vocabulary, I'm sure. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Um, okay, number, let's read through the number nine. So, Kui Achas Saner. Kui Achas Saner. Agus hit Neil. Agus hit Neil. Erahoin. Erahoin. Eran Talov. Eran Talov. Okay. Uh, number ten. The Ahaser Nachrev Ein Dini Temple. So he was happy there weren't any people around. Um, the word Ahas is happiness, and it's something that is on you in Irish. So you are happy. You have happiness on you. Okay. So if I want to say I was happy that it was hot. The Ahasorim Gorev Sheche. Okay. So the important thing, when you're happy, that something happens, okay? And the that thing has a go or some variant of it that we talked about a couple weeks ago and last week, okay? And we'll be talking about it again next week probably, okay? So, um, so we have a couple examples here. So if you are happy that something is or happened, you're going to go is the basic word. So go rev that it was, go rev sheche that it was hot, okay? Or viaja storm. Uh, go rev she, yeah, go rev she it was bright, okay, so go. Go goes with, go rev is the form to say that something was, okay? Now if you want to put the negative of that, you would say, vi aha sora nach rev she fur. Vi aha sora nach rev she fur. So nach rev that it wasn't, okay? So go rev and nach rev. Now, those are used actually for a few of the irregular verbs. Okay, the normal way you do it is you use the words ger and nar to say that you were that something happened or that something didn't happen. So she was happy that he ate his dinner, or that he ate the dinner. The ahasorhi ger ishe and dinner. The ahasorhi ger ishe and dinner. So the ahasorhi she was happy, or there was happiness on her. Ger ishe that he ate. Jiner, okay. So gur is what you use with almost every other word in Irish than go, than uh, sorry, than ta, okay. And the four other words that are irregular, okay. And she was happy that he didn't eat the chocolate, <laughs> okay. The ahasorhi nar ishe and chocolate. Huh? Um, because chocolate by itself is chocolate. It's a feminine word, and so when you put on on there, feminine words that start with S's get T's on them. Oh. And chocolate. You don't like to use your chocolate thing? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, now, the word all is another is a regular word in Irish, so if you want to say she was happy that he drank the milk, you would say, be ahasorhi gur ol she and banya. Okay? Gur ol she, that he drank. Um, or she was happy that he didn't drink the beer. The ahas or he nar ol she and bior. So the gur and nar is what he used for almost any other word other than ta and fu or like ta and fai and a couple of others. Okay. So iri um, means to get up. So the ahas or he gur iri she galua. She was happy that he got up early. Gur iri she. Okay. Or viahas or he nar ari shegojena. So gur and nar is what you use with almost any word in the past to say that someone did something. Viahas or he gur leishe and lower that he read the book. Viahas or he gur scrive she and litcher that he wrote the letter. Okay, so use gur with just about everything. Um, now the word for person, dinna. And people are dini. Dini. And you say here it is dini. Um, any, anybody is in dinner. 
Ein Dini. Okay. Um, so here they use Ein Dini, which are any people. Okay. So the Ahasar, he was happy. Nachrev that there weren't Ein Dini, any people. Temple means around. Okay. So the Ahasar, Nachrev, Ein Dini, Temple. So the Ahasar, Nachrev, Ein Dini, Temple. The officer not having the temple. Okay. Number eleven. Hashe Agasposi Sheg Shulerish, Gamal and Ursha. So Hashe he stood. Okay. Hashe he stood. The word Shas means stand. Hashe he stood. Agasposi Sheg and he began. 